Captain's Log. Stardate. Um... March 23rd, 2009. Or maybe it was 1997. A great mission awaited us. Star Fox. We were definitely in the mission. On the N64. Our first mission in real time 3D. I couldn't hold in my excitement. Whoa, we have robots? Jeez, we didn't have these things before. Man, we're really moving up in life. You mean like. You mean like all the other times? Like that one other time? They might have been the same time? The ship is too big! If we walked, the game would be over. Christ, man. I think they'd have like a shorter emergency hallway. Personally, I prefer the air. Walkings for losers. Let's go, team! Go, go, Power Rangers! Jesus Christ. You guys don't respond well to emergencies, do you? Oh yeah, those are our wings. In case you didn't know that. Uh, <laughs> Roll out! Let's go! Star Fox! Oh! Star Fox 64! The second game in the series after the original Super Nintendo outing. This one is much higher quality than that piece of polygons. So, first we need to instruct all of you rookies in the basics of Starfleet, Star Fox, flying and such. Let us play the training level. Welcome. Why, thank you, Rob. How are you doing? Yes, let's. Why, look! It's onboard mechanic Harold Sly Cooper. Looks like he needs a grilled cheese sandwich. The basics of any training course. Z, I mean R, L, Pachow! Wah! This is a lot like the original Star Fox, except it doesn't suck. Bombs, eh? Boom! Explosions are always fun. Whoa there. I'm a charging my laser! You get absolutely nothing for successfully going through all of these rings. Just thought you should know that. Do -do 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 -do. Ah, the lock on feature. A lovely feature if I do say so myself. I can lock on bombs, eh? Enoch Bomb! Yes! Haha! <laughs> Feel my wrath! Manufactured for the sole purpose of being my training targets, enemies. Gold rings. Also nice. They make my health bar oh so long. You know, I'm a space pilot. Where are all the hot 60s looking girls around here? Not that Star Fox actually has that many girls as a game itself. I mean, like, this one only has one girl. Who's Cat, who shows up in a later mission to torment Falco. And then may or may not show up in another mission, depending on how well you do, I believe. Of course, later in the series, they made the wise decision to incorporate Crystal, who has a very nice British accent. Ah, uh, British accents. Ah. Uh, whoa! Okay. Daydreamed a little bit there. Gotta. Gotta focus. Whoa! Gotta focus on my training. Bye running into walls. That's a great start. 
It'll teach me how to deal with running into walls in the future. Ow! Oh, my wing! Now I won't be able to fly! Oh yeah, somersaults. Did you do those in the original? I wasn't paying attention. Probably not. Hurrah! You can U-turn in all range, Moden. Well, Sly, you, you should probably- Whoa! Christ. That's the one thing about doing this game on this controller. It seems to have a problem with accidentally throwing me into first person for no reason. Ah, uh, wing repair. How timely, Sly. This guy doesn't show up outside of the tutorial, as you might have guessed by his lack of voice acting. Also, I'm not sure what his real name is. For the sake of the joke, shut up. It's worth noting that he'll say that even if you're purposely trying to kill yourself on the training level. Which I have done before. Oh yes. I have that kind of time on my hands, space cadets. Do you? Alright. All range mode! Was this in the original? I wasn't paying attention then either. Basically, this is like the same thing, except you can turn around. Mostly used for boss fights. Perish, foul training simulations of scum! I will destroy you in preparation for destroying your real brethren. Ha ha ha! If you kill up to a hundred, if you kill a hundred enemies, the Star Wolf team eventually shows up. Except it's really just training wolfins, so never mind. It's not Star Wolf team. You can kill these guys all day if you want. Eventually they'll tell you how to quit, and then they'll start telling you how to quit repeatedly. Just in case, like, you didn't want to waste time on a video game. In case you wanted to go to the main story mode, which you can't quit out of and play for like two or three hours. Nope, no wasting time in this game. Especially if you're aiming for the high score. Those medals are hard to get. By the way, a reminder of my plan while we're at this craziness. I will do one level per planet, or if the planet has two paths that significantly differ from each other, I will do two videos for that planet. Such planets include Corneria, the asteroid belt, and Venom. Planets with minor changes, such as, like, if you do or do not save the base which Star Wolf is attacking, where if you don't save it, they're like, Ha ha, Star Fox, you suck! And if you do save it, they're like, Bugger, we'll get you another day, Star Fox. That's not worth two videos. And with that, I think we're about done with training here. Let's go out in style. Stupid style. Where's my buildings? Hello, buildings. I'm on a rampage. You know, quitting is too easy. Killing yourself. Or finishing explosively. Now that's where the fun is, kids. Remember this if you're going to become a Starfleet pilot. And you have to do a training simulation. Which may or may not actually be real, I don't know. Yes! No! It's... No, just kidding. That was a joke. And now, a dramatic rereading Corneria, of history. Fourth planet of the Lilad system. In bed. The evil Andros turned this once thriving system into a wasteland of near extinction. In bed. General Pepper of the Cornerian army was successful in exiling this maniacal scientist of the barren, deserted planet, Venom. In bed. Five years later, General Pepper noticed strange activity coming from Venom. In bed. James McLeod. <laughs> Pigma Dangar and Peppy Hare of the Star Fox team were sent to investigate. In bed. Upon their arrival, Pigma betrayed the team, and James and Peppy were captured by Andros. In bed. Peppy barely escaped Venom and returned home to tell James' son, Fox, about his father's fate. 
In bed. A few years have passed. In bed. Andros has again invaded the Lilat system. In bed. General Pepper has turned to a new Star Fox team, headed by Fox McCloud, to save Corneria and free the Lilat system once again. In bed. <laughs> <coughs> the Lilat system! Presenting the world map with the most useless functionality in all of video gaming history. You can twist it, you can turn it, you can zoom in and out. But why would you do this? It's just a world map. Christ. I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm not the designers. Anyways, this has been Shag. With the opening look at Star Fox 64. The Let's Play that I am going to play next.